So last week I was saying how cold it was in the barn. Now this week it's about 85 degrees out. Welcome to fall in New England. <laughs> My week started off really strong and I thought it was going to be a great week and then by midweek it kind of kind of went downhill so uh, I think that's just the way it's going to be for a little while I don't have much time to be listing so I'm just kind of maintaining stuff I maybe have a few hours here and there that I can kind of organize and throw some stuff up I had a couple returns this week I usually don't see much for returns so that was kind of uh, unusual one of the items was a cast iron Victorian trivet which I sold in last week's video and the customer said that it didn't um, that it wasn't level so uh, I'm very surprised by that because I take photos of it on a table and it seemed level to me so maybe it got smushed in shipping or something but I'll be getting that back pretty soon and then another one was just one of the Canon things that I sold it was an adapter and the guy said it didn't fit his camera so he's going to send it back and he's going to pay shipping and there's a little restocking fee there for my trouble so I don't really worry too much about returns it's kind of just the cost of doing business I I probably maybe see a, maybe a third of a percent in returns I really it's very rare that I get returns two of them in a row is really a surprise for me two in one week is really surprising uh, I kind of made a big screw up this week and one of when I was shipping I shipped two items this week and instead of choosing 10 ounces I chose 10 pounds so instead of being about three dollars and 20 cents or whatever it would have been it ended up being $34 on each of the items. Now I thought I could hunt down the packages at the post office and go all around trying to chase them and get them to be held and then I could put a new sticker on them and all that stuff but I'm so busy right now that I just decided to let it go. I just didn't have the time. I also just was worried that if I told the post office to hold them they might mess it up and they might hold all my packages and who knows what happens. The post office is great. I love the post office. They do a fantastic job at delivering packages and doing their day-to-day -day stuff but when you ask them to do something kind of off script they, can, they don't really have a protocol for that. That can always lead to trouble. So I decided to eat the cost on those. That was kind of a, a bummer this week. <laughs> but 60, 64 bucks uh, down the tubes. This is a set of eight Copeland Spode tea or salad plates. They're just kind of small, less than eight inches in size. This is a pattern called Chinese Rose. And I think the pattern's pretty old, but the, these particular pieces I think were made around the 1950s or so and this I got at an auction I got a whole set of these at auction I think I paid about 35 to 40 bucks for it there was a lot of other pieces dinner plates and I've been selling them out basically as lots of similar size plates um, and then also as single teacups I find people are don't really buy full complete sets on eBay and also it, it would just be really brutal to have to pack up a whole China set and expect that it would get there in one piece. Anyhow this one here I had it for $59.95 for the set of eight and somebody sent me an offer of $40 and I really didn't want to ship it for that low of a price just in terms of the packing so I kicked back an offer of 45 bucks hoping that maybe they'd just go away or they would take that offer and they ended up taking the offer so these are going off to Canada through the global shipping program for 45 bucks. This is a vintage patch from the 1980 Moscow Olympics. I have about two or three of these up, the same exact patch. I bought these in a lot of patches from somebody who obviously was collecting vintage Olympic patches. So it was a tray or two of these patches. So I probably have about 50 or 60 of them. I haven't listed them all. Not the most exciting thing in the world and they don't sell for a ton. I thought there might be more money in them. I thought they were cooler. But uh, this one here sold for $6. Yay. This is one of those infrared remotes that came with the older MacBook computers. This year, I believe I got at that camera auction. It was on one of those tables that I purchased. And I've talked about them many times in my previous videos. So this is one of those items there. And this I've had up for quite a while, probably since January or February. And this sold for 13 bucks. I really don't know a lot about Asian antiques, but I picked these up at auction and they were part of a tray lot with some other jade pieces. And I think I paid about $20 to $30 for that lot. I didn't pay much for it. So these are two mirror matched bird pieces, hand carved in jade. 
There's no mark. They got some damage to them, to their legs, and there's some pieces missing here and there, like there's a chip on the back of this one here. So I had these up for $225, and I took a best offer of $125 on them. And so I paid about 20 to 30 for that lot, and I've already sold other pieces from it. These were kind of the, the most valuable pieces in that lot. The other pieces sold for 20 to $30. This is an old Victorian cast iron trivet. It's got kind of a neat pattern. It's a little bit on the rougher side. You can definitely see how it's uh, probably been rusted at some point and then cleaned up quite a bit and perhaps repainted. So this piece came in a tray lot, and I can't quite remember which one it was, but I know it was a tray lot I paid probably no more than $10 or $15 for. It wasn't one of the choice pieces, it was kind of the leftovers, and I listed it up for $22, and it sold. Some more Canon ink sold. If you're getting tired of hearing about Canon ink selling, it won't be long because it's almost all gone. This one here sold for $20. This is a lot of 10 New York Police Department uniform buttons. And these are antique, I believe, probably dating back. I'm not really sure, honestly. The lot that they came in obviously belonged to a retired New York Police Department officer. And there was a lot of pieces in there that I could date to around the 20s to 40s. But then there was some other stuff that seemed a little bit newer. So I'm not really sure on these. I just put them up as vintage. And it was a great tray lot. I paid about 60 bucks for it, which is, a, which is a lot. But I find that New York stuff really sells very well. And there were some really great pieces in here. Some old badges, some subway paraphernalia, some patches, some New York Athletic Club stuff. There was some sterling silver medals. So it was a really great lot to pick up. I'm, I'm sure it'll do pretty well when I get around to listing it all. These here sold for $35. This is a set of three sterling oak leaf lieutenant colonel insignia pins i believe these are co small collar pins i'm not an expert in this stuff but i picked these up at an auction on a tray lot of stuff that obviously belonged to a world war ii veteran and there was a lot of pins and medals and other interesting insignia related to world war ii and these here i sold for 27.95 I can't remember how much I paid for that tray lot, but I believe it was no more than $30. This is an unmarked cast iron skillet, number nine. I believe it's a Wagner skillet. It's 10 and a quarter inches across. It's in great shape. It's very flat. It's in pretty well seasoned condition. Doesn't really need too much to get it back into a cooking condition. And I see people selling these for next to nothing online. I think they're really cool. And so I decided to put mine up for $34.95. It's been up for about four months or so, and it finally sold. This came in a tray lot of other cast iron pieces and kind of kitchenware. And I probably paid no more than five or ten bucks for that tray lot.
tree right here. That is about 140 years old. It is a sugar maple. It was planted by the family which built this house. It's a massive tree, gorgeous and beautiful. And now it's raining down. It's just this carpet of yellow. It's just, uh, it's exquisite.